everyone, it is Sosia, and we are back with Nine Clues to the Ward. I have no idea, guys. It has the same name as the one we just finished playing, so I'm hoping it's kind of like a continuation. Maybe we'll catch Snake Man. Hmm, let's get going. July 13th, 1954, is that what it said? I don't know. Bring, bring. Private investigators, what can I do for you? Uh huh. It's coming. Nose. Please help us. Uh oh. New case. Gear up. New case. Gear up. Was that Owen? Owen, we missed you. Are you recovered? Are you actually Owen? Okay. Oh, we're on a boat. A boat. Minemo sign is The crazies. Sorry, guys, that was mean. Um, it does seem to be the case. Like, this isn't creepy at all. This isn't already a storm? Dude, uh, do we want a tutorial? Let's go no. Are you sure? Okay, yeah. So we need to do some stuff. Mythical goddess of memory, worn down, but her shape is still recognizable. July, 13th July, 1950. Can't tell the name on the grave, though. You need something to clean it, maybe. Uh, Minisamine, the personification of memory. Okay, well, there's a box. Oops! Oh, we broke it. Click to continue. Yes. Who is My colleague and I are private investigators. We'd like to speak to whoever's in charge around here. I don't know if that's a good way to get inside. Well, One moment, please. I don't know about this. Due to external circumstances, the Miss is not accepting new patients. External circumstances. Okay, I guess we go inside. Hey, there's a lady, but we're gonna click on things. Ugh, creepy. Fancy lock, won't let me through. Wonder where the door leads to. Well, you know what, guys? I think we're gonna find out. These look, those look nice, yeah. Oh, the little lips, that's creepy. Why are you here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think so, too. Act one. Ooh, there's multiple acts. Let's talk to the corpse. You said it was unlikely someone from here needed help. Yeah, lady. I don't know about that. One of your employees is dead. I am a so robot. John Jonathan was my friend. Uh, I don't know what to say. Please do your best and determine what happened. Well, Just excuse me. Uh, I don't know what to think about this. That there was a murder. That's what you should think, lady. Okay. Oh, he's sparkling. Let's click on him. Poor man. He didn't make it. Professor Jonathan Crow, wonder what his job here was. A note. I deserve this, the pain, the punishment. His feeling of guilt was overwhelming. Oh, there's a key. I'm seeing this. Things. I believe what Gordon told me. It's coming for all of us. For us all. Gosh, I'm reading so well today. Oh, okay, so it's just the same thing. Um, uh, anything else on you? Oh, poor man, he didn't make it. Can we take any of these things? Uh, uh, no? Okay, go back. What was Professor Crow's job? And who's Gordon? Yeah, tell us, lady. Was our therapist. Oh. Gordon visited him once in a while. He's something about night terrors. I need to take a look in Professor Crow's office. Yeah, show me his office. So the floor left me. Just don't be too noisy. Go check the professor's office. I'll take care of the body in a little The room. animation's really weird in this, guys. I think I preferred the first game. 
Okay, so that's maybe not the key. So let's go inside. Hey, there's a person! Darn, so clumsy. Blind without my glasses. Gosh darn, can I'm so. Help can you help me them? find them? Alright, guys, we found some glasses! I win! Alrighty, guys, let's give these glasses back to this lady. So clumsy. Blind without my oh, okay, okay. Can you help me find them? There you go. Feeling better? Thank you. That floor can be treacherous. Her face is like expanding. What happened? Professor Crow fell out a window. He didn't make it. We all talk like robots. Crow is dead? Oh, oh no. no. Hmm, <laughs> the plot thickens. Is she gonna slip in the water again? Okay, so that's not a thing. Let's click here. In case of fire, I know where to look for a fire extinguisher. To Claudia Cruz, due to deteriorating conditions and misunderstanding of silence since the 1950 fire, we are canceling our father's ther therapy. Such an expensive facility should be able to provide safety and hospitality to its patients. Oh, so they are on hard times. Something's going on, guys. A small elevator. wonder where it leads. Entrance to the East Wing. There's no time for sightseeing now. Guys, the dude is dead. He's not going anywhere. What's this? Weird-looking statue. Some scratches on the wall. Therapy room. Professor Jonathan Crow. Door is locked by Crow himself before his death, or by someone else. Dun dun dun. So the professor liked riddles. Oh, we have to bring the ambulance over. Reach the hospital with the ambulance token by visiting each of the beacons along the way. You can only visit each beacon once. So this one's an easy one, and then this one's an easy one. Uh, go this way, maybe. This way, that way. This one. Let's go this one. That one. Here. 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 We've already done it wrong. Okie dokie. Oh shoot. Oh no, it can still work. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Can you go over here? I know we have to do it one step at a time. Bunk, 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 bunk. Yay! Ooh, we're skilled. I don't know what that means. But we opened the door. Door to the inner corridor. Locked. This is more than a desperate person jumping out of a window. What happened here? Ginger! Someone doesn't like gingers. Welcome to the Detective Mode sequence. Okay, we have to find all the clues. Skip it. Yes. Okay, there's a creepy teddy bear. There's some scratches. There's a ginger. There's some footprints. There's whatever this window thing is. Oh, it doesn't glow in this one, or does it? Um, or this table? It's probably something. Last one, it glowed when you were near a clue. This is probably something. And there's two more, guys. What else is suspicious? Uh, something here? Um, this box? Mysterious box! This lamp? Oh, it does glow, kind of, I guess. Fall in lamp. Now, your task is to arrange the tiles with clues in the right order. Use their background as a hint. Oh, I see. This ribbon thing has to, like... Okay, so this has got to go, like, here. Um... Bunk. Yeah. They're also kind of color-coded, guys. Like, you know. 
just a wee bit. Uh, just a wee bit color coded. Nailed it! Okay, that's a new. This is retrospection. It shows the course of events connected with the clues you have found on the crime scene. Great. Rose was sitting in his armchair. Uh huh. He had a box with him. Really? Something happened. The professor drops the box on the floor. Someone enters the room, leaving footprints. Uh huh. They've got claws. How do we know that? Uh huh. The attacker comes closer and leaves deep cuts on the wall. Steps uh huh. Back. He throws a wall between him and his Because that's going to stop him. The professor falls out of the window. Was he pushed? The suspect approaches the couch and picks up the teddy bear. But how could you know the teddy bear was there? He off the toy's head and throws it near the armchair. Last, he cuts a name on the chain. Ginger. A name or description. God, we're good. Look at me go, guys. Why did the murderer write that name on the painting? Do you know what, though? We're gonna find out. I think so. Freshman. Thorough viewer. Okay. Boonk. Crow's murderer left a name on the crime scene. Who is Ginger? I gotta click on this box. It's the bear's head. It's half burned. Uh oh. Guilty! Guilty, does it mean Professor Crow? We should keep that. Guys, it's creepy as all get out. We should keep it. Oh! Hey, this thing is interesting. One of three. Professor, I saw it. I saw the thing from my nightmares. It's coming for me. I need to hide. I need to disappear. Warden. I should report to Owen. Once I find more clues, it is Owen! Aw, oh, I'm so happy! Oh, here's the bear's body. That's how he knew. Gordon Lefty. Notes. Employee since 1947. Anger issues, alcohol abuse, night terrors. I need to find this person later. Detective Owen. Ah, oh, the call. Ooh, a block thing. Yay. Okay, so we play with that. Ginger. New objective, Ginger. Oh, there's something behind here. There's something hidden under the picture. If only I could cut the picture away. We need a knife! Um, let's go find a knife. Got a knife! The phone did some heavy damage. Jonathan Crow, the degree of Doctor of Science, given by the National Psychology Academy in the year of 1930, on the 12th of June. Okay, I think that's all we needed from here, was this knife. Oh, this is where they go. Some of the cubes are missing. Okay, so we need to find that last cube. Um. Oh, here it is. Got it! Nailed it! Cubed it. Um, arrange the cubes from left to right so each row forms a logical story. He's sad. He goes to the doctor. He gets some medicine. He's happy. I think that's right. Um, oh no! Go to the ambulance. Oh no, oh, oh here wait. No? I think he's got to be good at the end, right? Maybe this is backwards? Okay! This one's got to start with the match. Then the building on fire. And then... The hose. And then the ruin. Right? Yeah! Nailed it. Oh, there's a notebook. 
remember who she was. No, June 26, 1954. Gordon was right. It's all my fault. If it wasn't for me, that poor girl would still be alive. We need to stop this. Ginger, forgive me. June 27, 1954. I saw something last night. Could it be that a powerful force comes to punish us for Ginger's death? Did Gordon see it, too? July 10, 1954. After his session, Gordon left his key to the basement. He barely ever comes outside. I need to know what he's up to down there. This must be the key to the basement. There's no telling what's inside that basement. I should investigate. You should take the book with you! It's evidence! Okay, so is there anything else we think we need to do here? I don't know. Let's go... No. What was that? Am I hallucinating? My head feels like it's in a vice. Interesting. You have found your first phantom object. There are 15 phantom objects lurking within this island. Find them all to unlock them. Use in case of fire or run like crazy. It's not moving anymore. Good. Guys, anything that's moving even once. This was no suicide. We may have a suspect. Who's Gordon? Yeah. He's our janitor. He used to visit Professor Crawford. Tell me about this guy. He recently suffered from night terrors. He's been acting strange. There was also a girl's name. Ginger. I Ginger. Said, I don't know anyone by that name. Uh-huh. you okay? You look pale. I feel pale. The strangest vision. Must be all the stress. <laughs> you're in a crazy place. Oh, like an did. asylum, and you're like, I feel a little like I'm seeing visions. Hey, Owen. I'll stay here and try to get a hold of the authorities. Here is a map of the facility. You don't want to get lost. Are you sure? I don't mind. Um, I'm sure we can figure it out. Take that from you. Why, thank you. Map equipped. New objective. Find Gordon. New objective. Check out the basement. Look. That's a cool lock. What the? Oh, we got another one of these dolls. Guilty. This feels Get out. Strange. You locked me in. How am I supposed to get out? Was that a phantom object? There's an arm. The arm just moved. Creepy. It's just a mannequin's arm. I must be seeing things. It moved, woman. To do list. Hide the key to the machine room. Prepare the mannequin. Set up the wire. Set up the bear trap. Prepare the barbed wire. Prepare the bomb. Plant the explosives. That's quite the to-do list. Um, can't get the mannequin arm without just my bare hands. Um, okay, we're gonna need something. Let's open this. It's locked. Okay, we're gonna need something. How about a broom? I don't know what good that's gonna do. Uh, locked, but I better force it open. How about a, a knife? The paper knife is too thin and fragile. Oh, oh, this is sparkly. There's someone on the other side. Maybe I can get his attention. I don't know if you want his attention. I don't think he can hear me. It's probably for a better, you know. I don't think he can hear me. I don't think you want him to hear you. Are you listening? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, let's leave him alone for a moment. Um, what's going on here? The knob is covered in barbed wire and electrified. Someone doesn't want this door to be opened. Clearly, they're trying to kill us. I need something sturdier. How about a screwdriver? This isn't right. wonder if this is what we need this one for. Bunk. Oh, keys. I don't know what that switch is, and I'm not about to find out. Oh, we turned off the wire. The keys. Toolbox keys. Is this the toolbox? Oh, we can search it. 
Yay, hidden objects! Instead of searching for hidden objects, you can play a mini game of Mahjong. Quick clear to switch to the game of Mahjong. Yeah, go away. Uh, are you sure? Yep. Okay, let's see what's going on. Whew. Sharp shears, a triangle, a saw, a knife, a bottle, glasses. This is a bottle. Spatula. What kind of a spatula? A hammer? Okay. Okay, okay, no, we got this. Is this your spatula? Yes. Hand drill. That's like, um, this. That's this thing. Okay, hand drill. Protractor. That's like something you use for drawing. Yep. Bellows. It's like the things that blow air. Right? Right. Am I right or am I right? Um... Bellows. Oh, here, under this creepy head. Look at this creepy head! Ah! Measuring tape. That's gotta be this thing. No? How's that not the measuring tape? Oh, maybe it means this thing. Okay, okay. Yeah, you know. We were there. We gotta sharpen... the shears. Yeah. We need a knife. And a triangle. Well, here's a triangle. And the knife. Now this is a knife. Is this a knife? No, that's just a Swiss Army knife. It's got the word knife in it. Come on, guys. Get in the back. No? Um... Knife! Where art thou? Knife! Is this it? This thing? No? Okay. Are you a knife? No. Okay, that's apparently the knife. You have found sharp shears. Object seeker. I'm guessing we need to use the sharp shears. Oh, a bear trap. Um, I still can't get this arm. Okay, let's kill over here. Creepy or what? I better not touch it as long as it's attached to that wire. Whoa! Catch me if you can. I'm the gingerbread man. Need to find a way to get it out. How about this paper knife? No? Not the paper knife. This must be how the statue originally looked. It needs more arms. Right, so we need to find the rest of the statue's arms. I should try something else. This isn't right. I do it and everything explodes. Put the knife back. The drawing is similar to the one I saw in the professor's office. Okay. Okay, we got some stuff. <gasps> a crowbar. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Huzzah! Got an arm! This is sparkling now. Right, handkerchief. Hmm, it looks incomplete. Hmm, it still looks incomplete. Okay, uh, whole hand. Perhaps I can... Why is this one so much harder? This is the folding ruler. Uh, this is the level. Something like things have appeared. Okay. Okay. Are you complete now? What are you? A puppet. Huh. A rag. Handkerchief. Okay, okay. Duct tape. Who wants this for something? This is glue. And here's an arm. Bunk. Got an arm! Yeah! A paintbrush. I don't see it. Some sandpaper. Duct tape. That's gonna be this. Oil can. Oh, oh, I found it. Okay, okay. Beer can. That one. A wrench. A wrench, a wrench. 
that's the maybe this one? Nope. Okay. French, where are you? You're not this thing? Oh, that's the pincers. That's a clamp. Oh, here's a paintbrush. And now we're just down to the wrench. Right, guys. Do you see a wrench? So I don't, I'm looking. Uh, this is not a wrench. It's not over here. No, no, no. No. Is this it? Yeah! Nailed it! Anyway, guys, that is all the time we have for this part. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it a great big thumbs up. Comments go down below and give me a shout out on Twitter at DangerMasseuse. In the meantime, guys, make sure to subscribe and be notified when I make new content. I love you all. Please take care, stay happy, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!